All right, so here's our first example where we're going to apply the integral test to determine the convergence, or I guess, well, determine the convergence of, um, yeah, so we mean decide if it converges or diverges, right? Um, so we're going to determine the convergence of this series. Does it converge? Does it diverge? All right, so we make some identifications. We say, all right, the terms are natural log of, of n over n squared, that's what a n looks like. Um, and we can write that as f of n, where our function f of x is the natural log of x divided by x squared. So we gotta check the, our conditions, right? Um, is it positive? Um, it's positive as long as the natural log is positive, and that's true as long as x is bigger than 1, right? Log of 1 is 0. Um, so the first term in this, in this series is actually 0. So really, we should say that uh, n starts at 2, right? We can, add, we can put n equals 1 in there, but the n equals 1 term is 0. We're adding 0. It doesn't change anything. Um, is it decreasing? How do we check if it's decreasing? Well. We could appeal to the definition and say, okay, I'm going to show that if x2 is bigger than x1, then f of x2 should be smaller than f of x1, right? Um, there are like sort of these like difference tests or ratio tests that you can apply to the sequence to see, but it's a function of x. It's a differentiable function of x. We know how to decide if a differentiable function of x is decreasing. We look at the derivative, right? Let's look at the derivative. f prime of x is going to be, well, let's do quotient rule, derivative of the top, 1 over x times x squared, minus derivative of the bottom times the top, divided by the bottom squared, x to the 4. Um, so this is going to be x times 1 minus 2 log x over x to the 4. Okay, um, we need this to be negative. Uh, th when is this going to be negative? It's going to be less than 0. Well, it's going to be less than 0. See, well, x can't be less than 0, right? It's a natural log. If negative numbers aren't in the domain. Um, so it's going to be less than 0 if 1 minus half log x is less than 0. Sorry, 1 minus 2 log x is less than 0. Um, and that's if, let's see, that's if the natural log of x is bigger than a half. And that's going to be true if x is bigger than or equal to 2. Natural log of 2 is like 0.6 something, I think. Um, okay, so we're good to start at 2, right? Remember, we, we don't necessarily have to start at 1 in the statement of the theorem. We can start at some k if we want to. All right, so we know that the theorem applies. So now we look at the integral. Okay, let's do that in green just so it stands apart from that. We need to look at the integral from 2 to infinity. We can do 1 if you want. Uh, natural log of x over x squared times dx. Okay, um, got to integrate by parts for this one. Let's kind of do that over and let's do the, the indefinite integral over on the side just to remind ourselves how that goes. Um, so if we have a natural log, that's always our u, right? So u is log x, du is 1 over x, dv, 1 over x squared dx, so v is minus 1 over x. Okay, so we get minus log x over x plus the integral of v du, right? So plus the integral, plus because of the minus sign there, plus the integral of, minus, of 1 over x squared. Okay, so we get minus log x over x minus 1 over x, 
and I mean, plus your C if you want to put the C in there. Okay, so that means that this integral will be, it'll be the limit as, so let's say n goes to infinity of minus log n over n minus 1 over n. Okay, that's the upper limit. Plug in the lower limit, 2, uh, log 2 over 2, okay, plus 1 half. And we just check now that this limit here is 0. Certainly that goes to 0. Uh, one application of L'Hopital's rule tells you that that one goes to 0, right? Because derivative of the top gives you the 1 over n, derivative of the bottom gives you 1. And so we know that that limit is just 0. So we get this finite value for the integral, right? Integral converges. And so we can state our conclusion. We can say, uh, since the integral log x over x, x squared it was, sorry. Since that converges, so does some n going from 1 or 2 if you want, 2 to infinity of log n over n squared, okay, by the integral test.